Hello everybody, welcome to Let's Try. My name is Retromation, this is Wolfstride, a highly stylized RPG giant robot mech battle turn-based strategy RPG, I already said that. Uh, I, I, I saw this, just the visuals alone made me had to check this out. Also published by Raw Fury, and they, they hardly miss when they when it comes to games that they, you know, choose to endorse. So I'm excited to check this out. Welcome, people, trash. I'm not here. No, not yet. This is just a single, a sample of what has come to come from the full album. From the bottom of my heart. I hope you enjoy it. 2017. The world's turning point. Watching giant metal beasts beat each other to death has become civilization's most beloved sport. Behind a thin veil of equanimity, a bloated society awaits the next blood brawl. Meanwhile, a humongous devourer lurks. Slowly awakening to the sounds and smells of a time that won't return. This is the story of mankind. This is the story of a group of people. This is the story of a man. For now, just enjoy our single. Welcome to Wolfstride. Oh my god. DV demo volume. All right. Yeah, we are going to be checking out the demo here today. I believe this is going to be available on the Steam page with the link at the top of the description if you want to check it out for yourself. What? I'm broke. Better go talk to Duke and get back to the action. Oh my god. <laughs> He's a tall man. Watch out for white diamonds above the character's head. They might have new information for you. I mean. <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. Hey Z, what's her status? Pretty good so far, darling. I'm finish up my blueprints on the cowboy. Killer Hound Duke is being a hand on the wheel around here. Talk about a sidekick. Oof, what the hell? Also brought some goods just in case, nothing fancy, but hopefully it'll bring you help. It'll help with the tides on our upcoming stormy night. Escape or start button to access the status menu, manage cowboy's equipment. Okay, so cowboy, yeah, it's cowboy. Cowboy is our mech. And our pilot is knife leopard. <laughs> So we have all kind of knockback punch. Look at all that, like, the super stylized in the upper right. Each move uh, having its own kind of, like, title there. Like, the um, that's... Wow. All right. Hello, Duke. Where the hell have you been, Shade? Been working my... Ah, uh, uh, fixing this pile of junk all day long. You finish your preparations for our fight tonight? Uh... Assess the situation. We're facing Worm, worm again and his crooked pilot, God Worm, at Hog's Arena. Made sure we got a 50 50 share from Bounty Hog. And get your stuff together. Let's roll, Cab Man. All right, well, I mean, is there anything we should do to adjust? Oh my god, look at all these different parts. I can only imagine we don't really have uh, different parts. While we can, like, go in and look at all this stuff yeah i can crappy frame trash plate punctured hull dead engine oh my god all right let's go let's just fight oh we're good how's our pilot holding up ready to blast dude remember our plan kiddo go for his chest but watch out for the armor cowboy's rifle is loaded with piercing bullets make good use of it goes without saying but try now to get your ant kicked and more importantly get back safe i will that's what I want to hear. Let's go, crapheads. Wolfstride is about to turn is about turn-based battles. Destroy the target's chest unit, 
to win the battle. Have fun. All right. In we go. Cowboy versus Worm again. <laughs> oh my god. Listen up, you rancorous piece of nerd. Peepoo is gonna walk you through this pee tutorial. What? All right. <laughs> mecha battles, parts, and victory. Wolf Stride is all about turn based mecha battles. Each mech is divided into a number of parts. For example, head, left arm, right arm, destroy your opponent's chest to win the battle. Each part has its own HP and armor. When a part gets attacked, the damage gets reduced by the amount of armor. When a part gets attacked, the damage gets reduced by the amount of armor. That makes sense. Remaining damage goes against the HP. The HP reaches zero. That part gets destroyed. Moving like a giant <laughs> What? Tiles along the bottom of the screen show where the mechas are on the battlefield. You can move your mecha by selecting the move command in the command menu. So it's like a turn, like almost like a turn-based, I wonder if it's like a turn-based fighting game, uh, like a board game, almost like, oh God, what was that game I was just thinking, Battlecon, I was thinking about it like recently for some reason. That's what that visual is running up. That's going to resonate with like five people. Uh, moving consumes one MP, one move point per tile. Numbers on tiles represent damage bonuses for your mech and will add to every skill. Numbers on tiles that represent damage bonuses and your free mech will add to every skill. So it's like Scrabble. <laughs> It's like a turn-based fighting game Scrabble uh, RPG. No. If you corner your enemy or they corner you, that's called a deadlock. Represented by a tiny, tiny lock. All right. Enemy under deadlock will receive lots of bonus damage. If you're under deadlock, then I got bad news for you. To move on top of an enemy, you can just push it away, just like you did with your last significant other. Pushing consumes 2 MP. Their attack skills, defense skills, skills consume AP. AP refills each turn. Some skills require ammo, such as rifle shots. Ammo is replenished by selecting the option reload under the defend menu. Skills have a cooldown timer, so you nerds can't break this P game. <laughs> uh, every, <laughs> every turn your gauge will fill up some. When the gauge is full, you'll be able to use the repair skill. You might be broken, but at least try to fix your mess okay. Using repair skill costs one charge. You can save up to three repair charges for later. Okay. A lot all at once. They're really certainly front-loading it. By pressing a P button, you can check your enemy's stats and see how handsome they are. <laughs> Asking them out for a date is totally optional, but, optional, but a probably bad idea. We know how you deal with rejection, don't we? Check their parts HP, see if you're making scratch. All right. Too long, didn't read. Peep who teaches you, but you never learn. I, you think I'll give you trophy for completing the P tutorial? All I have is a, this short arm, so pat, pat. Thanks, Peep who. Okay. So, as far as our attacks go, can we, it shows the range there. So if we move forward to, can we do, it looks like we could maybe use rifle burst. Uh, two MP, we have up to three MP. Maybe we move up three. Let's get aggro. And then we attack. So we should, we have three AP here. Rifle burst should work. But I imagine it seems like it... Okay, so we have to destroy the chest to win. Does that mean we should go there first? Though, no, I... It said that you can press the P button to look at them. Okay, so control, maybe? Yeah, is there a way I can figure out, like, what each one of his parts actually would be? I can't move around and select them individually. I mean, I certainly, like, if we have to destroy the chest first, you would think that we want to go for the chest, but the rifle pierces, it said. Maybe? No? We can attack again, but we don't have enough AP for any of these. So we could maybe spend taunt duration one. Wait. Taunt duration one, apply 15 armor to your right arm. Does it make it so we taunt onto our arm? Reload five ammo, apply 10 armor. How much ammo do we have? We have, okay. So we have one, one left. Cost two to use that move. Seat belts down. Cool down two turns, apply 10 armor to the right arm and 10 armor to the head. Sure, try that out. 
I'm assuming we can't do... Yeah, we can't do anything else. All right. What you got, my friend? This is wild. Knockback arm. So it's like a dash that also... So wait, don't I have that too? Deal... Deal 30 damage, knockback two. Okay, we, we do have it, but it's... I feel like moving forward, moving one to get the plus five damage into the knockback punch to make sure that we do not, like... I don't know, like, maybe we should be... Let's just keep on, let's just keep on focusing on the old chest piece there. Oh my dang. So, okay, so the, uh, the piercing on that weapon, let's, let's definitely reload. I don't think we can do our other move again. No, we are out of AP. We could move. He's got a punch. Maybe we move up so we make it harder for him to get the plus five. That's my that's my thought here, is make it so he doesn't get the plus five. My arm! So he reloaded, right? God charge. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound great. So that's on cooldown. Pistol punch, deal 30 damage. Break armor, 10 deal. We could, like, move back one. Blast him with this. I guess in the chest. I, I can only assume that this thing he's charging up, I can only assume we want to get the H away. But we have one more AP. Let's spend it on reloading. Alright. I'm I'm assu I, I don't know. I can only assume that this attack is gonna be. No, he 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 straight up could charge the entire way over. Oh my god. Alright, so we could if we could, we could step on him to push him. Oh god, I forgot what I forgot what it was saying about the lock. There was a lot of stuff there. If I punch him back onto the lock, is that good for him or bad for him? Okay, we can't. We can shotgun. What the heck? Uh, does twenty damage to all all parts? I mean, MP four. We. Take, that's right. It takes two to move him. Alts we can repair. Resurrect a target unit. Let's heal up our chest piece. I mean, when that if that's when that's gone, we are we're dead. Then that seems kind of important to to utilize. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if we want to be on. If we can't can't get on there and push him so it's basically just yeah do we want to do we want to move at all so now he has to hit my arm i guess right I, fine let's get up there because i don't want to get cornered i don't want to get cornered we know that that is a terrible situation. Slug repair. So he's spending the time to heal up a little bit. He's knocking me back, of course. Makes sense. He will not leave me alone here. So I guess we, don't, we can't knock back punch. We could pistol punch. We could push him. can move back one and then shoot in the chest there. Shotgun does 20 to all. I mean, 
mean, it's not, it's not like it's a bad idea. It's just... I, also, the pistol punch, I guess, at this point, does more damage than that. We don't need to break any more armor, so... I suppose we could just do that. The fact that we only have the 3 AP and most stuff costs 2 is routinely causing issues here. Uh, we have one more move, move point, but I don't know what to say. We're, we're just going to get cornered here, pretty much. Worm Punch. The good news is that shouldn't knock us back, and I don't think he has the ability to knock us back again. So, he could push us. Yeah, that's the thing. Oh, no. We've been cornered. Okay, well, we need to get out. Uh... I feel like a knockback punch is required. Absolutely required. So he's got 65 HP left on his chest there. We don't have enough AP for that. The shotgun we could. If we move to... First of all, we're getting out of the corner. I don't know about this, uh, this super crazy charge-up blast. We, we did 40 to all because the plus... Plus five. So I guess the plus five is not just plus five damage, really. It's, it's more than that. We used up all of our MP. We could back up one. I don't know. I don't I don't love the idea of being in front of him for this, but he charged up and hit me anyways, no matter how far I, away I was before. So, yeah, it looked like it's kind of like a charge. And then now he pushed me. Oh, that's it? That's all you got? Cool down. Pistol punch. Yeah, that should be enough. Bye-bye, my boy. Oh, get wrecked. Wow. This game is so cool. This is so dang cool. No time to rest, Cat Man. We got another scheduled fight on the way. Max called Fancy Boy, and he got his pilot goes by Fancy Jack. I don't know where these stupid names come from. Well, whatever. Uh, don't forget to fix Cowboy. Don't worry about the cost this time around. That's on me. Also, we're going to need lots of damage to break through Fancy Boy's stick high. Fortunately, we got some cash to spare, so use it wisely. If things get too hard, we can always bully Worm again for more prize money. If you want some info on Fancy Boy, talk to Peepoo. Also, ZZ said she's got something for you, so you better check it out. Give me the word when you're ready to sail. Approach damaged units and hold the confirm button to repair. Is there anything over here? Not quite. Not not now. Who are you? Cook omelet? Hey, man. I'm glad you're back. How's it hanging? Duke's got uh, been giving you some trouble? Hey, he's fine. Still pestering me about selling Cowboy, though. Either way, he and ZZ really make a great team. Cowboy's ready for a fight. I can feel it. You should try and take him for a spin sometime. It's addictive. Yeah, you're the one who's got the short straw. Besides, it was your idea to keep it. I know I wouldn't go about it any other way, though. This is our friend's legacy, after all. Give me fancy boy info. Listen up closely, punks. You gotta watch out for this junk shield. We won't get anywhere if we keep wasting energy on that thing. We're gonna need lots of damage to get through his armor. This ain't gonna be an easy fight. Remember, we gotta go for his heart. Once we take it out, it's game over. Doesn't hurt to break some arms on the way, though. And watch out for his head. Secret weapon. Duke said you got something for me? Sure thing, darling. I think you guys are ready for this. It's a new operational system. Took me to hell and back to make it compatible with your Mex OS. This is a Joe Joe's mainframe. It fairly increased knife's maneuvers, allowing him to do much more in less time. Use it wisely. You're welcome, darling. Now let's kick some right. Joe mainframe added to inventory. Uh okay, step one. Chest unit, I mean. We got to repair, right? Oh, my God. So, the re the repairs are free right now. Is that is that right? Head's fine. Can we get back down a fancy way? A fancy boy way. I kind of like that you actually have to straight up go all the way to each, each part. There's something that feels kind of nice about it. Yeah, it's, it's on the house right now, but normally I guess it would cost money. You might want to, you might even have to go into some fights already pre, pre-busted. The different animation, there, this game has so much freaking heart in it. It is wild. All right. What do you got? Joe Engine. 
Sweet. No, it's not based on a vacuum cleaner. Where'd you get? Where'd you hear that? Uh, MP plus three, base damage minus ten. Uh, plate. Joe plate. Is there any kind of? Let's see. What do we? Chest equip, arm equipment. Is there anything that gives us a whole extra action point at a at a cost? I'm curious. Base damage up 20. I mean, sounds sounds pretty fun to me. 300 bucks? I don't know. Let's buy it. Wormageddon's frame type. So this is an arm equipment. So theoretically, can we buy two? We're going to need... Because it said we're going to need a lot of damage. Ooh. Base damage up a little bit more. Ammo up a little bit more. Let's get one of those, too. Okay, so we got one of those, one of those. ZZ Foxtrot's engine. Mobility, 3 MP. I mean, a lot more MP could let you corner them a lot quicker. I'm going to assume that ours has no real, like, actual benefit to it that we have on right now. I mean, we can get anything we want, really, right? What are the heads like? Nano fluid recharge. Ah, let's get. We'll save the head for for last here. Hmm. MP up three. Nano fluid recharge. HP down twenty. I don't even know what. I can't remember what that is. So. All right. So we can go to the mecha. Don't have anything for that. Joe Mainframe. Get an extra move point. Sure thing. Left arm. Sure. Garbage plate. Garbage plate. Oops. Oh, heck. Octo engine. So we can't buy... We cannot buy, like, an actual full hull thing or anything. Is that right? Joe Engine. Oh, okay. No. Oh, okay. So these are the hull and these are the engine. So that is a separate. That's a whole separate piece. I see. There's the type in the middle there. Ah, okay, 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 okay. I feel like getting straight up some armor sounds good. So yeah, we won't actually be able to get everything we want here. I see. But let's, uh, we'll pick up that hull instead. Yeah, so that's more HP and, uh, and some armor, so we can... All right, good deal. All right, let's fight Fancy Boy. Fight me, Fancy Boy. Fancy Jack, Fancy Boy. Okay. So we have four movement points. I thought we gave ourselves more... I know we got... No, I guess maybe we... Did we opt for something else? I could have sworn we gave ourselves more. Obviously, we have the one extra. We also have three. Wait. We have four AP now, too. Did we have that already? I can't. I... So we can move all the way up here, get the plus 10, and have, like, a really good, really good point here to, uh, to blast from. Break armor 10. So, what... Why not just go for the chest? Am I miss what am I missing there? I'm assuming that the uh, that he's going to start like taunting me so that I will have to have to attack something else, but for now I don't see the point in not doing this. Right punch. Oh boy. Oh my god, that damaged the arm. Okay. So we could knock back punch him into the corner. Yeah. Which gives us the ability to 
first, so first of all, we already have him cornered. Just a punch to 30. I mean, so like, am I wrong? Why not? This is what we want to do. We want to get into the spot where we can do crazy extra damage. How much is that, is that going to do then? 95. Man's almost dead. Yeah, I'm of the mind. Like, why back up? Junk engine overdrive. He might not even have like a really effective way to push me back. Okay, he does. Junk shield. So there we go. And there's the two turns of taunt and a car throw. I see. Okay, so there is there is the resistance I was waiting for. Two turns of taunt on that shield means like should we just we might as well. ammo yeah we can't target anything else but we could reload and then attack wait what whoa wait oh my god I, what was there something that gave us plus one uh, or that i thought gave us plus one ammo but it actually gave us minus one ammo i think that that's the case so we janked ourselves out of even being able to use that that is a shame. I'm gonna just uh, try and we, we, we've got him, we've got him taunted, so he has to attack our arm, and now it has a forty or twenty-five armor on it as well. There's no point to reload anymore. Pushing. A little pushing again. On cooldown, on cooldown. I mean, we, I, there's no point to reload. Don't have the AP to do any of that stuff. Yeah. So just kind of like, I, yes, I could start shooting his arm, but it's going to, like, I feel like we'll be better off just kind of setting ourselves up for safety. Slug repair. Why do, you, why do you heal your arm, man? Okay, we got him locked down for whatever it's worth. Restore 35 HP, duration 3, and apply 10 armor. Let's try it. As silly as it is, maybe we'll try out that. We probably now nah, we probably should have done our arm. That makes no sense. And then we have that, and we can't do anything with it. Rifle burst. I don't like. I don't want to waste too much. Yeah, I don't really want to bother wasting too much on the arm. But like, I don't know what else to do here. Also, we shouldn't have wasted that on uh, knockback punch. Thought we were doing this one here. But next turn, we'll be able to attack anything we want. Or can he taunt again now? Guillotine head. Oh, this is the thing he said to watch out for. Oh my god. Yeah, I understand why. Can you taunt again? No, then this is our time to shine. I met. I. Yeah, I, I, I messed up by. Uh, Using that there. Oh well. Pistol punch, we get plus ten. Seventy-five, we should be fine. Easy enough. But yeah, I could see like if there's a, a way to routinely apply taunt on the arm. I, yeah, then maybe like I see not going for the chest. Or maybe if there's like a really frail part that's really dangerous. Uh, I could see there being situations where we would want to target something else, but for right now, it seems pretty straight, straightforward. That's it for our single. However, these characters will be permanently stuck in battle limbo. Have a rematch with Wormageddon and Fancy Boy as many times as you want. Play forever. 
Just don't forget, we got a whole album coming. Bonus tracks included. Thank you for playing our demo volume. See y'all around, people trash. I gotta say, wishlist now. I gotta say, yeah, we're at 30 minutes. Perfect. I, I can't wait for this uh, when it comes out. I cannot wait. I, I'm taking the time right now. I'm tabbing out. I, uh, I hit the wish list button. I uh, suggest you do the same. Well done, kid. We are the champions. Now let's sell this trash pile and cash in. All right. That is slick. I do want to like take a look at what did I what did I mess up here? Ammo plus two. Was it just, like, not the right weapon? Or is it that the other frame already... Oh, the, already, the other frame already had plus two. That's the thing. Gotcha. See, that's where my issue was, was figuring out... <laughs> ah. And the Sentinel V frame does not have the plus ammo. I understand now. I understand now. I think, yeah, maybe when the game... That's like my only thing when the game comes out. Maybe make it a little bit more clear. Uh, the, the stuff that you're buying, like, have it compared to the stuff that you have on at the moment in the shop. I think that would maybe be, the, like, literally the only critique I have about this game so far. I, I absolutely cannot wait. The style is off the dang charts. This is... It's, it's so... Like, there's parts of it that are so strange that I, like, that still somehow work how like the characters are all like pixel art and then this background but the background mech just totally isn't but that but it kind of works and then in the battle it's not pixel art anymore it's just there's something there's something just so unbelievably charming about every every aspect of this game that i've seen so far here right now uh wolf stride wolf stride wolf stride wolf stride uh let's see here it is developed by uh, Ota Iman Studios, O-T-A space I-M-O-N Studios, and it's going to be published, of course, by Raw Fury. Again, like, as I mentioned, Raw Fury, like, pretty much, they pretty much don't miss from, from what I played. Uh, absolute, just slappers after slappers after slappers. What was that? Like, uh, you know, like, Atomicrop, Star Renegades, Goner, or Goner 2. I uh, let's see, Backbone that came out, all kinds, Dandara, Bad North, yeah, Goner, you just, just a whole bunch of just absolute slappers after slappers, they're, and they're the publisher, not the developer, to, to make that clear, but, you know, a, a good publisher, like, really has an eye for stuff that, that's going to slap, I think this is going to slap, this has my, uh, the demo has my unbridled recommendation to check it out, and please keep your eyes on this game and wishlist it if it looked anything near interesting to you. And if you want to help support it, wishlisting it is the greatest way to help out with that. But that's going to do it for today for Wolfstride. Only 33 minutes here today because that's just what's in the demo, and that's that's what we got to deal with as much as I want more, too. Thank you, better for watching. Check out the channel. Typically cover roguelikes and more, but this is part of the more. And boy, howdy, uh, am I happy that it is because this game is fantastic. Thank you, thank you. I'm sure we'll be back. I'll see you guys next time. Every day, indie games straight to your face that'll surprise you. See you next time. Bye. <laughs>